The Council of Europe has been in hot water over a past resolution which has been accused of attacking the religious right to circumcision. But just how serious is the situation? Well, the Parliamentary Assembly may be just a consultative body, but the Council of Europe was set up to uh, defend such rights. And when the representatives of, a me of a member states put out a, mo a motion like that, a resolution of that kind, they are discriminating against Jews and they are sending a terrible prototype to, me to member states to push legislation in that di direction. So does this resolution, as it currently stands, still pose a threat to the Jewish tradition of circumcision? The resolution sends out a message to member states of the Council of Europe and to parliamentarians that it is apparently legitimate to attempt to legislate against a core Jewish practice. It is therefore symbolically dangerous and symbolically dangerous from an organisation which is there to protect fundamental rights and therefore action needs to be taken. So of course there's a threat because the prototype exists. The European Jewish Congress insists that the circumcision case isn't closed, but the Secretary General of the Council of Europe, Tor Bern Jorklant, disagrees. Well, the Secretary General made it very clear that the Council of Europe does not plan uh, any ban on circumcision. And indeed, uh, he made it clear that the practice of uh, religious circumcision as it is practiced in the Jewish religion is covered by freedom of religion, uh, which is a fundamental right under the European uh, Convention of Human Rights. Um, that, I think, he made absolutely clear and um, there should be no misunderstanding. So where did the confusion occur as such? Because this is really sort of blown out of proportion in some ways then. It is true that there has been a lot of controversy around it and um, we assume that this comes from um, a misreading, a misinterpretation of the resolution of the Parliamentary Assembly. Um, um, but this has been clarified by all concerned. Philip Carmel, who is a member of the European Jewish Congress, says that he's expecting the Council to crush this altogether. How do you reply to that? Our position is clear. There is no plan to have a ban on religious circumcision. The Council of Europe will insist that the controversy is over. However, Jewish groups aren't convinced. Jewish European Parliament member Yossi Lemkevich says that this resolution is only an example of an anti-Jewish sentiment which is sweeping across Europe. I think that uh, when you see what happened uh, with the ritual slaughter in Poland, if you see the same what happened in Holland uh, because of uh, uh, animal rights uh, protection, and if you see what happened also in Germany with circumcision, I think uh, there is a trend in Europe uh, against uh, Jewish life. So. Uh, uh, it's not only about uh, religions, uh, it's also about cultural life in general. The resolution is non-binding in itself. However, it is the work of the Council of Europe that define the moral ideals of a European society. And while the Council will claim that this is nothing more than a misunderstanding, the Jewish community will worry that it's these types of misinterpretations that will lead to future attacks on their way of life. This is Bjarke Smith-Meyer for JN1 in the city of Brussels.